What's going on guys? Welcome back. I uh, just wanted to demonstrate my current candy setup. This is very quick. Um, it gives about 1 to 200 candy per second. So it's very quick and very efficient. We're running uh, two setups mixed into one. Let's show you how this works. So for both of the mines, you want to have both of them drop right into a uh, candy castle. And then the ores will come out of the candy castle. Just like this. See? So the ores come out. Um, and then they're going to drop into the two raised items, pumpkin pie and ore caramelizer. Doesn't matter which order. Um, for this one, run a grand wafer or something before the candy corn real estate, unlike I did, because yes, as you can see here, sometimes they do get stuck. Uh, just something to look out for is, is all. Oh, that worked. Okay. Yep, I, I guess we fixed that. <laughs> um, either way. Pumpkin Spice, Sugar Corroder, The Rock. You could get these um, from the the six NPCs around the map. I will um, tell you that at the very least. It's not too hard to get a couple of them. I got a couple very quick. Then you're going to run the uh, the smaller upgraders. Giant Pretzel, Cookinator, Chocolate Coater, Gummy, uh, Candy Refiner, Lollipop, Candy Corn, Chocolate Forest, and then any, any furnace, really. It doesn't matter. Um, I prefer this one because of the angle. Uh, the thing is right here. Collect and go back. And this is very quick. It's very, very quick. And then, yeah, this is how quick your candy comes in. Depending on the timings for the Super Swine, you can get about 200 a second. Mostly it's 100 to 150 a second, so still very efficient at the very least. Pretty good one. Alright, boys. Um, yeah, you guys take care. I just wanted to get a quick video out. 